Let's learn in this video how to use Rover in order to visualize the Terraform resources described into the Terraform files. Terraform already implements a feature using the command Terraform graph that generates an SVG file representing those resources. But here with Rover, we will get actually a better visualization, a better graph that represents all the resources with also the variables, the outputs, and the state of the uh, TF state file. Rover is an open source project maintained in this GitHub repository. And from here, you can find the documentation along with a really a simple getting started. And the end result of using this tool is that it will generate this Terraform visualizer or this, uh, this graph that represents the dependencies between the different resources in my, in my files. And that includes either the resources, the data sources, the modules, and also the registries. And if you click on any of these resources, it will show you its configuration and the, the state of the uh, current state file and so on. I have prepared a quick demo for this uh, tool and, and, and it's available on this GitHub repository Terraform course under the folder number 24. So that's Rover Graph and it contains the uh, Terraform template that we'll be using along with the commands.sh file that contains the commands that we'll be using in this demo. Switching back to VS Code, where here I have that folder on my laptop right here. So from here, I have actually the main TF file, this file that contains the resources, my Terraform resources. And here I have a resource group, an app service, app service plan, database, and a SQL instance. What I want to do here is that I want to generate that a nice data visualization. So actually within Terraform, we have another solution that is using the SVG files. So within Terraform, we have the command that is the command um, Terraform graph. With this command, you can use it actually to generate an SVG file that contains a representation of your resources and their dependencies. I have here, if you try to run this command, it will show you something like this, where here I have that uh, generated file called graph.svg. And here I go to try to visualize this SVG as an SVG file. And that's using an extension in VS Code. And that will give you a file that looks like this one, where here we have the different resources, the variables, and the dependencies between them, and so on. But this is still not that nice graph, you know? So we want something better. For that, we'll be using Rover. So again, all the commands that I'll show are available here in this commands.sh file. So let's jump to the tool. So for this demo, I'll be using the folder number 24, where I have showed you the Terraform template that I'll be using. And then here I have run the command Terraform ini to initialize my configuration, and then Terraform plan, and then I generate the TF plan for my config. And at the end, it will show me the resources that will be created. And those should be uh, an, a web app, the database instances, and so on. And it shows also the output of variables. After that, now, actually, to use Rover, we have two options. Either we use the Rover CLI command line, which is available, and you can install it in your uh, system. And then you use the Rover CLI, with, and you specify the working directory. Or you can also use the Docker image. And that's actually the preferred way to, to use it today, because it's the easiest way, actually. And you don't need to install anything on your machine. You'll just use a Docker container. So on my machine here, I have Docker installed, and I have Docker ready running in my machine. So I, I will be able to run Docker commands. So I run here the command docker run and I will use the Docker image for Rover that is available under uh, this uh, alias available on uh, Docker, Docker Hub. I'll pass some parameters. So first I would say dash dash rm. This is in order to remove the image after it's, it's uh, it will do its work. And then dash uh, it to run the interactive mode, dash p to use some power mapping. So I'll be able to get the results on the web app on a web page available under the port number 9000. And then dash v to say I want to map a volume. So here, because I'm inside the folder where I have my Terraform template and my plan, I want to map the current folder with the dash src inside my container. Just here, make sure you replace uh, this symbol by a parenthesis if you are running 
uh, on Linux. So it should be uh, $parentheses if you are on, on Linux. And then the name of the Docker image. And after that, I would specify here another parameter that says dash t plan path, tf plan, and that's the name of the tf plan that I want to uh, uh, generate the graph for it. I'll go to run this command, docker run. Rover starting, then it uses that plan that I have given to it, and then pass the configuration, and it will generate the graph. And now all the data is available, and this address available on my web app, on my browser. So I'll go to localhost for 9000. And yeah, here we get the results available in my browser, where I can get here the uh, Terraform Visualizer. So actually, our main graph is this one here, where we can see all the resources. So from here, I could see that I have actually uh, my resources that are the resource group, the app service plan, the SQL server, and so on. And I can see those resources will take their configuration from variables. So because I have that variables.tf file, those variables will be passed to the main tf template. And they can see also the content of the outputs.tf. So this is really a nice visualization to understand more the content of our templates. And here we get also a small summary for the resources uh, available in each template. Then I can, can go to create or to click on one of these resources, like the app service, for example, to see its own configuration. So that's the resource for my app service called web app. And here I can see the configuration that I have uh, specified with the app settings, the connection strings, the location, name of the app service, and so on. You can see also the current state. So here it tells me there is no configuration in the state file for that file. And for the proposed state, those, those are the changes that will be committed to the TF state. And then I can go here to save the graph as a file in my system. Great. So this is really nice tool to understand the resources available in the Terraform uh, uh, template. But now the question is, what about if I want to use this tool within my CI CD pipelines? I want to run the Terraform init plan and then I want to generate this file. And before running Terraform apply, I want to run some manual validation where one of my team members or maybe the team lead or whoever on the team will go to validate the changes that will be made by the Terraform, um, by the Terraform uh, template. So he will read actually the uh, TF plan, but we want him also to be able to access this graph generated by Rover. So what we can do here, it's not a good idea to, to run this uh, 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 or to show the result in a web page like this, because it's a little bit hard to get it inside CICD pipeline. So for that reason, Rover gives you a nice feature that allows you to export this page into a zip file. And that's just by adding a flag to say, I want to get that zip file. And that's by saying dash standalone true. So that will generate a rover.zip file. And to that file, then you can upload it or you can show it to whoever should uh, uh, verify and confirm the, uh, to go to run the template. Great. I hope you like the demo. And uh, thank you and see you in the next videos.